Forgive us, Father, for we are about to sin and be very naughty boys. What sucks the most is that um, I could feel it. Like, it's definitely fucked with my lungs. Like, every time I try to take, like, a very, very big deep breath, it, I can't do it. Like, I end up coughing. So how, ba so how bad, Dude, how bad I, I, would you say you had it? Like, it I mean, was, what kind of symptoms were you experiencing? Because this is right. the first time that we've really been able to get into it. And once we get this health update from you, we're getting into Spider-Man talk. Yeah, we don't give okay. enough shit. Um, well, okay, so it was definitely, it, it was the flu times 10, like, body aches, uh, chills, um, like, 102.2 fever, uh, headaches, just fucking dehydrated to the point where, dude, like, every time I try to drink something, my body was like, give me the whole fucking thing, just I'll drown you, like I'm just, draw. like, so fucking thirsty right now. Any uh, loss I'm of taste or smell? So Luckily, fucking thirsty for you, babe. Yeah, practically just that. Uh, no, what I'm happy about is that um, I didn't lose my my taste or my smell. Thank fucking you know Christ for that. Uh, but good because that's been one of the things that people have been having like long term effects. And yeah. uh, I got screwed with that because I lost my sense of taste and smell for like two weeks after covid oh really yeah like it came in like right at the tail end of my quarantine um now mind you i haven't had the i haven't had the omicron this is just like last year like last year thanksgiving i had and by that i mean like 2020 thanksgiving i i got covid so i had like the og covid um but I had the full on loss of taste and smell, and it lasted for like two and a half weeks after I wasn't having symptoms anymore, and it sucked. Dude, it does because like I slept most of the fucking time, but I hated every single time I would wake up because like I'm over here having to down like a liter of fucking water and then like Gatorade. Uh, my head is just like pounding each time. Um, I'm coughing. <clears throat> oh, you can pound my every... head, babe. Oh god. <laughs> like coughing um so fucking much it's not even funny. But yeah, like I was telling how did, Bailey uh, how did Bailey Well do? she didn't she didn't get it at all. Um she tested negative, it's thanks to her uh, booster. The fucking crazy part was that that week when all that happened because I didn't start feeling anything until um Friday actually, and I was supposed to get my booster, but that didn't happen. <laughs> well, obviously. <clears throat> Because here's the crazy thing. I don't get sick at all. It's the last time I was the last time I got sick was probably shit. I think when me and Bailey just started dating, actually. And me, um, I was just like, I don't feel right. Um, no, 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 I'm not sick. Maybe I'm just like really, really tired or something like that. And then I was just in so much denial. I was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah I will say when I got COVID, <laughs> I was in extreme denial about yeah. it. Yeah, and I was just like, yeah, maybe I'm just tired. That's it. Yeah, I'm just tired. And you know what? I haven't even really been drinking water today, so I'm going to just drink some water. You know, my whole thing is like my number one <laughs> symptom was a sore throat. And I was like, oh, man. you know. And growing up, I had strep throat all the time. I was Ooh. constantly getting it. And so to me, I just felt I was like, oh, man, this is crazy, you know, just have strep throat like this again as an adult. Like, oh, just, I'm just going to always have to deal with this. I'm surprised and, you didn't get your tonsils uh, removed, actually. Um, I probably should have, honestly, but I didn't for mm -hmm. whatever reason. Um, parent <laughs> negligence, I don't know. Who knows? Jesus um, <laughs> 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 um, but... Um, yeah, so I, I full on just didn't didn't it didn't phase me at all. I was just like, I'll just go get I, you know, just go get tested, and you know, just in case because you know it's right before Thanksgiving. Yeah, I was like, oh, better safe than sorry. Might as well. And then sure enough, came oh, back. And they, like, and this is back when they were doing like the the like, strictly video calls for oh the, yeah for the uh like checkups and stuff. 
And sure enough, they're like, oh, the doctor is uh, ready to get in touch with you with your results. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And, uh, you know, jump on Zoom. And they're like, uh, oh, Mr. Philbrick, are you at home currently? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I am. You know, just kind of uh, relaxing. And, like, and how are you feeling? And I was immediately like, oh, no. <laughs> here comes. Here it comes. Here, oh, <laughs> oh, no. And I was like, I mean you know sore throat you know kind of feels like strep and the doctor's like well i do have some bad news it is not strep you do have covid and i was like oh no uh it was terrible and even like after like uh just the denial and just like i felt like such a failure <laughs> when i first got it you are and like this is like oh well, i mean <laughs> no um like this was like back at like height of COVID, like when it first like this I was still that. Like, this was still like in the realm of like you probably could die. I mean, you know, this was before like the, the vaccine had just started much. rolling out for like the elderly. Like shit, this stuff. was that was like right after we started our show. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, no, this no, was no, no, right no. Like when almost... we were streaming together. Like, yeah. Because we had just had our Halloween episode. Yes. Is that but... what that was? I don't even fucking remember. Yeah, yeah, that's when that was. Yeah, we had just had our Halloween episode, and I remember because I was recording in the old um in the old apartment next to the bed. Oh, no, bad. I wasn't even I wasn't even allowed to record in the fucking bedroom because Jasmine quarantined me to the living room. Well, no, there was <laughs> a point when you got COVID when you were in fucking when you were hanging out with your when you were at your family's place too. No, that was when I got exposed and we went into oh, quarantine. That's right. Um, that's right. That was in July uh, in Myrtle Beach. And I had my full on existential meltdown. Been there. Where I um, I was having full on suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, Shit, dude. And uh, I, d you, you know, when I am like at my peak, like not doing really good, like I'll yeah. make jokes. I'll make jokes. And it's my way of coping and like helping. Like, essentially, it's like my way of taking the power back with my mental health. I'll make jokes all the time. But like, it was like the jokes were a little heavy handed. And it was like, even like my sister like heard me say something and it was meant to just be aimed at jasmine for her to hear um but my sister nancy had heard me say something and she goes do you really think about killing yourself and i was like all the damn oh. time yeah and that's what i said i was like oh you know here and there whenever i'm bored <laughs> and she was and uh it was that night when we got back to the hotel room after we left my grandparents' house because we were quarantining with my grandparents because they had also been exposed because oh. um, we were on a family vacation visiting my grandparents. Um, and we were back at the hotel room and uh, my dad had a bunch of whiskey and stuff at the hotel and I was just I was really drunk. <laughs> and my mom and I were making flatbread because my mom was like, well, I guess carbs <laughs> and calories don't matter oh. at this point. And I was like, I like where your head's at, mom. And so we were making a flatbread and I go to get the flatbread out of the um, out of the stove. And I totally burned my wrist of doing it. And at that point, I was just kind of laughing. I was like, <laughs> and just and at that point, I had a full on emotional breakdown fell onto the kitchen floor at this because it was one of those nice hotel rooms where you have like a full kitchen oh yeah and i just like fell onto the kitchen floor and was sobbing my eyes out to the point where my mom was holding me oh. and as and what i was like 20 29 or like 20 uh 29 yeah i think it was like 29 29 dude point. Yeah, so I was 29, and my mom is sitting there holding me on the kitchen floor as I'm bawling my eyes out, like, calling myself, is like, saying I'm a failure, and I put my wife in danger, and, oh, it was great. Dude. Thankfully, Jasmine was asleep and did not see any of this. Oh, but it was so bad. Like, it was so bad. Like, everything came pouring out of me. I know I've talked about this on a previous episode, but it's been so long. Almost my verbatim. Well. 
almost word yeah. for word what you said <laughs> yeah. yeah and it was so it was just so bad like it was to the point like even my dad my mom went and got my dad and, like woke up and they're both just like holding me <laughs> and then his dad said are you still talking to mark and when you said yes he beat you <laughs> <laughs> he just looks at me and goes See, you're still wearing those fancy shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, um, my God. So uh, on the topic of family problems and shit. Um, we oh, have Key. To... Uh, uh, hold oh, on. Sorry. Before... What's Wait, up? This is all sorry because we were talking about Key and his health and making we sure. We stopped so Bailey never like 10 sick. minutes ago. What? Bailey never got sick, right? No, no, no. She never got sick. She got tested, too. It's all because of the fucking booster, dude. Now, did she? So when did she get her booster? Dude, she got it like a good month before all this shit happened. Oh shit! So she was perfectly in the window. Yeah, dude. Which because, is because let's be honest, the booster only has like an eleven week po- super potency before. Yeah. It kinda... So she was perfectly in that window to protect that. That great timing on your part. If you were gonna get it, you picked a great time. Yeah, so. like it, it was just fucking crazy, dude. Because like uh, I went, you know what exposed you? I, that's the thing. I've been trying to fucking figure that out. Like, do you think it was work related? I, I think it was, and I'm thinking like I'm trying so hard to think like who. Because I tried to go back today, but what happened was uh, also, occupational Eva health. Hoodie is dope as shit. Thank you. I love it. It's so fucking awesome. Two people try to buy it off of me already, and I'm like, I'm nope. not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so but, so uh, you because where are you where, where what are you doing um, work wise i am a surgical technologist inside of electrophysiology so um i'm around patients but the thing is we can't operate on patients until they get a um a clear pcr so you, covid test so they still have i, I you can I, I mean key i'll leave this up to you if you want to leave this in or not. nobody knows where you no, are. No, it's fine it's fine i don't care actually um, i think this is important for people here because you can still do elective surgeries <laughs> but there is extra protocol now correct correct cool um like the doctors will not operate on a patient if they do not get any um covid test done and um like what's crazy is that um which is so it's a double edge it's more it's more than just doctor safety but it is actually for the patient safety patient safety yeah because and... you don't want to be operated on or close to like you know being infected because that could result in you know unnecessary yes. risk and danger and potentially potential death and here's the fucking crazy part. Like a week before um, this happened to me, there was a patient who came in and they were supposed to get a. Uh, uh, it was going to be. What was it? It was going to be a pacemaker uh, dual chamber. And what that means, I, I can go into detail, but it's just basically a generator for your heart. Um, I was going to say, is it's that just like a shock new back upgrade for, uh, for the Tesla? No. <laughs> oh my god. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, but what happened was the patient got tested and you know, are you feeling anything? I'm just feeling like some allergies. I mean, allergies were crazy during that time. But oh gosh, I mean allergies the, are still crazy. For those the, of for those people who are not in Austin, we yeah, get, we get cedar fever, what, two, three times a year here, pretty crazy. Allergies fun. And um Thank and you, whoever like brought all the fucking the, cedar trees there. We had one of the craziest uh, cedar fever seasons where <laughs> if you saw the skyline and it was sunny enough, it just looked like a haze. Like it looked <laughs> it looked like there was a forest yeah. fire in the distance because you could not see the city and that was just the pollen in the air. Yeah. Um, no, so what's crazy is they tested him and then uh, later on came back um positive but he didn't have any of the uh symptoms he said it just you know felt like allergies and i'm like holy fuck well i had all the right full... so i had the full so you think you potentially think it could have been them i'm thinking <sighs> nobody else in your family has had it except my mom and my dad but i when they caught it i have i haven't seen dude i haven't seen my family since and how uh, long ago was that christmas eve actually oh yeah you're way outside the window of that yeah they my mom this was my mom's second time getting it uh this was at the very beginning of january you know your mom really needs to make sure she keeps up with her covid punch card because i hear you get a really cool cup of coffee at the end of it 
<laughs> um, but she, yeah, this was her second time getting it. This was my dad's first time getting it. And oh, how'd um, he do? He he was all right. He said, you know, it was like two days of like coughing and then like just a fever, but that was it. And well, that's um, good because I know your dad's got had a history with like cigarettes and stuff, and that's something I would have been concerned about with him. That was. That was a scary part about it, but luckily everything was okay. Good. Good, good, good. So where did you quarantine with Bailey or did she like what did y'all do? Uh I ended up quarantining. I was like losing my fucking mind, dude. Yeah. Did you quarantine at home? Did she go somewhere else? No, she quarantined here. Okay, did y'all just like keep it in, like different rooms like what jazz and i did um we we slept in the same we slept in the same place dude I, like oh she so she has, just was gonna risk it she was risking it she was like you know i can't sleep without you pretty much and i don't want you sleeping by yourself cool. because you're God, you literally so gay for each other um i know Some but she was she was she was she was just worried because, like, how every time my went... wife left me on the couch, she <laughs> was wearing a mask around the apartment the whole time and still got sick. She was like, my wife just left me. Oh, I mean, you know, that is the best her. way to quarantine. I mean, <laughs> you know what? I'm very surprised you're not Mormon yet. <laughs> oh, they've um, been trying. We'll give it some time. Um, but she was just worried because, like, how every time I would, um, I would wake up, dude. I was just fucking dehydrated. Like, I was so dehydrated that my lips were chapped. so chapped that it was burning. And, you know, like, no matter how much water or Gatorade I was drinking, I, I it just fucking burned the whole entire time. It's like my chlamydia. <laughs> oh my god thanks for that i'm still here so, to don't worry so but, other than like your so you haven't had any like long-term effects other than just kind of feeling it still like with your lungs yeah it's just my lungs like they said that um <clears throat> i'm not gonna make like i'm not gonna be 100 percent until um uh, the next like few weeks goes by and uh, <laughs> And what sucks is that, you know, uh, I've been wanting to make um, vocal covers for screaming, and I can't do that because, can't again, that. My, I can't <laughs> do it because my fucking throat, it just sucks. So, yeah. I'm like, great, I can't scream. Um, every time I try to breathe in really, really deep, I can't even do that. Ugh, yeah, which is kind of necessary to scream safely. Yeah, so... Um, other than that, here's the one thing I want to tell everybody who says, oh, yes. um, whoever says this thing is like a cold, um, fuck, fuck you, get fucked. Like, this thing was not like a cold or anything close to it. This was like the flu times 10. And whoever says that, uh, I don't think you even had COVID because, a cold um, is, let's just a, a say, cold is to, a cold is to COVID what a hand job is to real sex. Yeah, <laughs> practically. <laughs> But, dude, it sucked um, just days of, like, you know, fuck, I'm super thirsty and dehydrated. My body is just hurting all fucking over. Um, my head is killing me at the same time as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, can yeah. We're and I don't, even want to, I don't even want to imagine, like, what it would have been like if I didn't have um, the fucking vaccination you know, it's crazy because, you know, so many people, it's, it's, it's so it sounds like you had like a medium case because there are, are people that are getting it again and it really is hitting like the cold. Um, I had um, I, I was kind of I was kind of following up with like this. Somebody had made a flow chart to explain the symptoms of the different uh, strains, the variants. Yeah. And um, I was having. I was having a lot. I was sneezing a lot, no coughing, but I was having a lot of like sinus drainage and stuff. Like I was having a cold and, but at the same time with the Omicron variant that's going around, if you look at the flow chart, like it is like the headaches are still decently common, but they're not definitive. Like they were with the past, um, variants that came before it 
But the thing that they were saying is, like, fever's less prevalent. It's more rare to have a fever or at least high-grade fever. And all the symptoms that they're pointing out all sound like the flu. Or not the flu, the cold, just a regular cold. Which is I got super paranoid because I had cold-like symptoms. Um, uh, I had some people around me uh, that got COVID. Um, Not that I was super close with and had even kept track that I was like within like social distance range of them. But at the same time, I was like, uh, the way things go with how crazy easy the thing is to catch even with distancing and masking and stuff like i'm sure like maybe did i wash my hands right after i saw them or like you know just all these potential things that i could have come in contact with if it was even from them as you step outside right now and you can still catch it really easily you know just out and about um but i got super paranoid and so i had gotten some of the home tests Oh my god, yep. And I started, doing, I started doing the home tests. But the thing is, like, what they were saying is sometimes home tests have, like, they're, depending upon which ones you get, and I, no, granted, I didn't do enough research into the ones that I got. I just knew I had home tests that I felt pretty confident about because they came from HEB, and they were the ones that everybody was trying to get. Um, but I had both my tests, I and I tested periodically throughout the week, came back negative but i felt like shit because i felt like i was like man like i've got all these symptoms that are lining up with covid there's no way i don't have covid like it has to be so i was treating it like i did and finally i went to a clinic and they i was like i've got to get one of their tests because the tests i have there's got to be some faults in them or somewhere like i've got to be getting like false negatives or something i was so paranoid um and uh so i went to the doctor and then the doctor had the uh, had me do a test and it came back negative and my doctor was like that well i don't want to say my doctor is it's a doctor at a clinic and they're like, yeah. well, Mr. Philbrick, you know it came back negative and you said you've taken at home tests that have also come back negative i think you just have the cold and i was like <laughs> i straight up i looked at the doctor and i was like nope it's COVID. There's no way. I called the doctor a liar to their face <laughs> because I couldn't accept that it was a cold because it lined up with COVID so so perfectly. Yeah. And they were like, look, like, it's very common right now. I've had the doctor's like, I've had several people in your same shoes that have come in, thought it was COVID, took tests, didn't believe it, and it ended up just being the cold. And on top of that, we've got crazy cedar fever right now. And they're like, probably are having some allergies that ended up spiking a sinus infection. Mm. I just could not accept it. I was so upset because like, (laughs) I, I, I thought maybe I was like, I can't have COVID. Maybe it's the fucking flu. And I, and I just, I got my, um, my uh, flu uh, shot too. And I was like, man, maybe, maybe it's some, you know, cause I'm also, I'm, I'm one of those people that when I get the flu shot, I usually will have a day or two where I don't feel good. Yeah. So I was like, maybe it's just a flu, but no, I was dead fucking (laughs) wrong. Well, at least you did your due diligence and stayed on top of it to make sure. Yeah, Um, because there was. Yeah, but it's it's just crazy. It's just like, holy fuck. I ended up getting it. I went too far fucking years without even getting it at all yeah well you know at least uh you know it sucks that you got it but i mean at least as far as you getting it at least you got the one that they're saying everybody's gonna get so yeah um i I don't think there's any i I mean i don't think there's any shame that you should feel in getting it i mean it's you know it is what it is. It sucks, but I mean, I, you're fine. You're gonna be fine. Um, yeah, like I don't have any shame. It's just like the part of like you know, I'm so. I'm glad you because, took like, all the precautions that you did. <laughs> yeah, like that really help lessen the blow. Like it's just crazy because like I mean, it, it, it was just being more in shock of like holy fuck, I went uh, you know, almost, you know, two years without even getting it. Like now it's like, 
fuck, I have it. And it's like, how the fuck did I get it, first of all? Yeah. But oh, other than oh, that... Oh, um... Sorry, Mark, that we've <laughs> taken over this conversation and you've just <laughs> taken a back seat. Totally fine. Take it back. I take He's the... ready. I'm typically riding, the one bitch. driving, so... Y'all take Mark's over. actually fuming in the background since he's such an anti-vaxxer. Honestly, I actually uh, I kinda, and a, and I kinda COVID, dozed off COVID, there. And and a COVID denier. <laughs> I actually kinda, a, I kinda dozed theorist. off there for a few minutes. So You know, I don't know if you know this or not, but when Mark was in town, I actually uh I actually took his phone and saw all the Alex Jones feeds that he listens to. <laughs> oh my Man, god. Fuck you guys. I am <laughs> oh I, I just got my god. booster shot, okay? I just had my it's booster true. shot, and I didn't cry at all. Uh, I have a you, to, you, for our listeners that don't know, I have a chronic phobia of needles. Like my therapist told me, like it's a legit thing. And uh, we went to get my my booster, and I was just, the doctor was like, "Okay, oh, hey, do you want to do you want to sit down? Do you need anything?" When I'm just like, you know what? Just roll up my sleeve, stick it in me, and let me get out of here. And Which I, is oddly enough how he led with his wedding night. It's true. Oh it's true. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I was in and out like, like le- legit, like 30 seconds. Uh, Mark, you know, it, it's funny because, um, while I do not have a diagnosis from a therapist, um, uh, even though I would love to have a diagnosis like that, um, I too also struggle with needles, um, really badly to where the point, um, I will black out if I get blood drawn just yeah it, it happens. Really? It's, yeah oh dude yeah. key it's bad it's so, like, not good 